Hey, what's going on guys? Scratching VA here. So, if you saw my last two videos, you know that I kind of cheated and I just uploaded those. Um, this weekend, uh, Saturday night, running on midnight. Um, so, they should have been up last week. Um, I've been fighting with, you know, some things throughout the week. You know, you guys, I, I share a little bit about what goes on here and, and with my family and my niece and my sister and Sherry and school and work and the whole thing and, you know, the struggles that are a constant in my life, you know, that it just, it really runs you down and wears you out sometimes. And, you know, it just never seems to get any better or any easier. So um, what I had decided was that I was going to just um, close down and abandon the whole YouTube thing. Um, you know, there's no shortage of channels of people doing different things, whether it's lottery or games or God knows what, you know, and, and they manage to acquire a good following. They somehow figure out a way to make money off the channel. Um, I, I don't even understand how that works, let alone how to make it happen. Um, I thought I was doing something right a while back and putting a little commercial in every so often and you know, I had the, the money thing set up I thought and after a year I had like 12 cents. So it, I'm doing something wrong because apparently a bunch of other people managed to make a pretty good income off of YouTube videos. So I don't know how to do it. I don't understand it. Um, and you know, I've been working at this for two years now and I still am only at 128 subs now I can't give away brand new electronics and gift cards and tons of tickets and money basically I can't I can't buy subs um, and I anybody that does that's fine it works um, and probably in the end works out in your favor you know, I had plans and things I wanted to do. I wanted to have a lot of involvement with subs and try and do some contests and do some books, you know, um, so everybody had a good time and a chance to win something. Um, but I just don't seem to be anybody that's interested in doing that with me. You know, if it's because I decide to share personal stuff about my life, hey, so be it. You don't have to like that or like that about me. It's an outlet for me to get things off my chest. Um, it helps me, so that's all that matters. Um, so my plan was to completely abandon the channel, but then the weirdest thing happened last night. Um, so you guys know um, that my niece lives with me. It's my sister's youngest child, you know, and, and my sister can only spend time with her um, under my supervision or Sherry's supervision and she tried to make all these lavish plans yesterday she doesn't have her own home she doesn't have a license she barely has a job she'll never have a license um, you know she's got a lot of issues and she might very well never have her kids back um, she'll never have her older one back my mother raises her but um, she tries to make all these plans with her little bitty paycheck um, to do all this stuff with her daughter and it never pans out. You know, I have to work when I can around everybody else's schedule. So what she planned for yesterday just didn't happen because I didn't have the time for it. So we wound up going to this place and I had to pay for it out of money I don't have right now um, for my daughter and both her daughters. Um, oh, we're in the wrong. I don't think I can change the camera dexterity while I'm recording the video. I'm going to pause it and splice it together. Hold on. Okay, back. Um, it wasn't recording sideways, and I know that's a no-no. So, uh, she had all these plans yesterday, and what we wound up doing is there's a place around here called Swaders. Um, it's basically a, a giant arcade. Um, but they've got games and go-karts and miniature golf and laser tag and um, they have this huge climbing thing you can climb in and on and it's got slides and takes up about a third of the building on the inside 
And, um, you know, for little kids, you can let them loosen that thing and they'll go for a couple hours. So my niece only three. That was really well, all she needed was that thing. But my other niece is 13 and my daughter's 10. So we all had to go and I had to pay for everybody. Um, cause she paid for my niece's, her daughter's little haircut and they did a hack job on that. So anyway, we went and I was talking to my daughter playing a game and I heard somebody say, Hey, I think I know you. <laughs> and I turned around and they were talking to me and I was like, me? He goes, yeah. I think I know you. I said, and I looked, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe from school or something. Um, he goes, you got a YouTube channel. I was like, yeah, I think I do, sort of. He goes, you do scratch tickets and stuff. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> um, I go, yeah, I do. He goes, I knew it. He said, all I heard was your voice, and... I knew it was you, and I was like, wow, <laughs> that's pretty awkward, um, in a good way, interesting, intriguing, um, kind of caught me off guard, um, he goes, yeah, I've commented on some of your videos and stuff, I was like, holy cow, and his name was Griff Mr. Griffith, or something Griffith, forgive me for not remembering right this second, I am tired, I've had these kids out running all day, um, I was like, yeah, I've seen that name. That is so weird to me, but in such a great way. For just a blink of an eye there, I felt like I was somebody important. Um, and it kind of made me feel good. Well, whether that's silly to somebody or not, you know, I don't... Uh, who'd have thought that just randomly in public like that, somebody would recognize me from YouTube just from my voice? Which I know it's a stupid sounding voice, so it sticks out. I hate my voice. Um, so that was pretty awesome. You know, we talked for a minute about some things, shook hands, and went on our way. And I got to thinking, you know, I've, there's a few people that I've gotten to know, you know, and have made comments and said things that, you know, made me feel like they were interested in, in, in what I did enough to care and pay attention and, and whatever. So... I guess the thought of completely abandoning ship kind of left my head. But again, you know, I'm not in a position like a lot of people with channels where I can just run out and grab $100 in tickets, $200 in tickets, books of tickets, and just do them for fun. If I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. Um, you know, I can't afford to put a whole lot of money into lottery. Um, I, I just can't. Uh, I've mentioned before that I'm in such a hole right now that I can't see my way out. And that's not going to change until somehow I manage to get my car fixed and she gets out of school and gets her RN. Because uh, school's expensive and just life in general is expensive. You know, and I'm spinning my wheels trying to catch up. And it's one thing after another. You know, the floor in our, our laundry area is about to fall through and needs to be replaced. There's, there's stuff in the house that, that needs done. The porch needs work. I mean, it's just, I, I did go out and get four used tires on her car today, so she's good there for a few months. But the front end's still all out of whack and needs needs work. Ball joints, tie rods, and struts, and the whole damn thing. Um, you know, I owe her sister some money from Christmas time that, help me pay a bill and, and do a little bit of Christmas. And then a friend of mine through YouTube that, you know, I'm, I still owe because he reached out and helped me with the alternator situation when her car broke down and she needed to be able to get to work right away. And, you know, it was an expensive part and, you know, I caught a little bit of a break getting it put on, you know, but had to have the car towed. Um, it's just, it's just never ending. You know, I fix one thing, ten more fall apart. It's the story of my life. So, you know, um, right now, my biggest concern is getting this title loan paid off of my car. It's like right around $500. And then there's this, you know. And for, you know, someone who thinks I'm jerking their chain when I say things are behind and I need help. Um, let's see. This is the most recent 
um, account statement from my daughter's dance school. I don't know if I can get it in there or not. Um, right there. That's the ending balance as of April 12th, 2018. 1701. Um, she's in two classes a week. It's $53 a month per class. Um, costumes are $150 for two costumes. Right there. Recital costumes due January the 5th. Still not paid. Um, if it's not paid... Um, I believe by May 15th, she doesn't dance in the recital. Um, I paid last month, trying, thought I was trying to catch something up. I paid $30, $40, $50, $100 there. And that was all, as you can see, that was just late fees. Uh, didn't touch the balance at all. You know, I'm going to give her $100 this week, hopefully. But, you know, um, if something else comes up, you know, it, 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 that's going to take priority. Um, they still let her dance for now, but that is exactly what I owe right this very second. Um, plus the guy down the street that helped me with the well issue where the guy across the street screwed it up and still tried to charge me. So that is my fun dilemma and situation. Um, the dance thing and getting my car loan paid off. Uh, the title line so they don't come repo it in the middle of the night now i don't expect anyone to hand me money just for the hell of it because i'm nobody you know do, would i love some charity some help a hand up for once to catch a break sure absolutely do i expect it not a chance so i mean if, let me put it this way anybody that wants to pay some of this or help me out. I will find a way to fix it down the road. That's the place. That's the address. I can give you the phone number. You can find them on Facebook. They have their own website. Um, if you, if anybody wanted to check and see if I'm lying, they're more than welcome to call them and find out. Um, I'm not. And this doesn't for me. This doesn't benefit me. Those are my family that go on vacation or have fun or. Anything like that. Um, that's, well, that's my part of my website to make the payment. But, um, you know, you, Deborah School of Dance, it's online. Uh, just if you want to find out if I'm full of crap or not. You know, even if you nobody wants to help, I don't make this stuff up. But, um, you know, I don't know what to do anymore, so. But what I do have, if anybody's interested, <laughs> so it doesn't come across as just charity, I did manage to acquire a whole buttload of these. They are porcelain ornaments. Um, you know, they're this big to your hands. They're nice, brand new. I have a whole lot of them. <laughs> all that, all that, and those are three deep, front to back, um, and then all those there. And I also have a whole bunch of these plastic little banks. Blue and green, opens on the bottom, spins around like a, like a lazy season. There's a little slot on the front. The only thing I can think of for that would be good for is setting some post-it notes in it because they would fit. So I got a huge box of those and all those cases there. So if anybody would be interested in any of those, we can work something out. Um, I can ship them. They sell for 7 to $9 a piece online, the porcelain things. Obviously, I wouldn't expect to get that much for them. I have three different ones. Technically, I have six, but I don't have very many of the other three, like only a box or two. There's Merlot, Zinfandel, and Cabernet Sauvignon, or some however you say it. I'm not a wine person. So anyway, there's that. And I also have five brand new stainless steel single bowl kitchen sinks. That's the model and part number if you want to look it up. Um, so there's that. You can help me with that. And it wouldn't be charitable. But anyway, 
I do have, for our viewing pleasure, I'll shut up now because I'm sure most of you have probably went away by now. Uh, two tickets to do with you. <coughs> Somebody who owed me $50 gave me my $50 and two tickets to scratch on the channel. You know, of course, anything comes of them, you know, we'll split it. Um, the tickets were like their late payment because they owed me for a couple weeks. And they know I do this on YouTube, so. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of these here Jewel 7 playbooks. Number 18. Almost the first or last one. So next to last one. Do that and we'll do a, that's a $20 book. We'll do the $10 hot pink cash payout. Match of numbers, stack wins 100, payout wins all 20. And it is ticket number 22, is that right? Yeah, odds are one in 3.40. So anyway, I won't give up on the channel. Um, you know, I'd still like to do a book. I'd like to do a book of the Money Mayhem. There's still a crap load of $1,000 prizes out there. Pretty sure there's still three top prizes and like five of the second highest prize. But there is a butt load of $1,000 prizes out there on that ticket. And I personally won two of them in two weeks back in January. Um, I'm probably saw i think i did a video on one of them and one of them was on uh storm's wall of fame so they were there i'm on this rickety wobbly card table hopefully my camera sits still long enough for me to do the ticket or tickets so oh this this might not work it's super wobbly oh if you're interested in seeing the coin i got a Vietnam Wall Memorial coin. VFW. It's kind of neat. Big, it's heavy. Scratch is decent. Oh, this table sucks. I might have to move because the camera's going to fall. 449, 19, 21, and 20. And we got a winner. Four. Sorry, I accidentally hit a little bit of that prize. 45, 21, 39, 7, 8, 37. This table is absolute garbage. 43 and 24. Hold on a minute. I gotta find something else to sit on. This ain't gonna work. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Bear with me. This is gonna be any better, but we'll see. Got some Pavarotti. All right, so we had the one match winner on there, number four. We'll come back to that. We'll do the playbook real quick. So you've seen this. It's a bunch. Of, oh, this is just as wobbly as the other get up. I lost the table I had in here. Sold it. Let me, <clears throat> falling apart tonight, guys. Mm. 
things all falling apart. There we go. I think that'll work. Lord of mercy. Alright, so there's six games in here, I think it is. Yeah, six games. Uh, ticket number 18. Odds are 1 and 2.64. Hope you're still with me. So we're looking for a diamond to win 25 instantly here. Chest. Dollar sign wins 50 instantly. That is a money clip. Did you see that? All right, down here we're just looking for a seven. One seven wins the prize. Two wins double. Three wins triple. So we'll go one at a time. See if we can sneak up on one. Nope, here the neighbors arguing. They don't get out of hand. This is still wobbly. If the phone falls in the floor, I apologize. Alright, no go on the diamond sevens. We'll hit the ruby sevens. Two bonus spots. Find a ruby, win the prize shown. Simple as that. No. Alright, over here on the right. Let's just zoom it out a little bit. Looking for a seven or two sevens for single or double win. Nothing else matters, says Metallica. One of the best concerts I've ever been to in my life. I think I was 16, went to see Metallica in a concert at the Richmond Coliseum. I was about... 14 or 15 rows from the stage, one half level up from the floor. I couldn't hear for two days. It was awesome. Money bag in the bonus spot wins $50 instantly. That is a gold bar. Three identical amounts wins the amounts. That is a 20, a 20, 100, 40, 200, and a 200. That is also a loser. I am coming up on, I just hit 10% on my battery, so I need to move this along. We're looking for a seven or a five times. That is my phone telling me I talk too much. It's probably y'all telling me I talk too much too, but whatever. Um, game one, three sevens in a row, wins the prize. There's not three sevens in a row. There's no three sevens in a row. Two identical prizes, wins the prize. Nope. Match a numbers game or a 10x. 42, 41, 26, 39, and 34. 35, 25, and 30, 24, 3, 132, and 49. I'll try not to miss anything, but I am dog tired. If I miss something, if you see it, I apologize. I will find out when I scratch the code. But if I have missed something and the code tells me I missed something, I'm not going back to look for it. Uh, we find a garnet, win the prize. 5x is 5 times. No. Match of numbers or seven for an auto win. 36, 34, 46, 28, 11, 12, 13, 6, 14, 43, 35, 15, 48, 9, 33, 31, 29, 2, 5, 21, 18, 10, 45, 49, and 44. All right. 
Emerald is $100 instantly. That's a wallet. Matching numbers are 7 for your auto win. 10 or 20 times. 9, 44, 11, and 14. This is our last chance. And this, I believe, is a loser. There is the B. So all we've got is our four over here. Let's hope it looks like this. That would be amazing. And it's way in there for $10. Scratching VA can't catch a break. Got these Indiana and Chicago dudes and Florida hitting all these big ones all the time in New York. Scratching VA gets 10 bucks. So anyway, if anything I said tonight interests you or turns you off, you know, so be it. I understand. I'm human and have feelings too. So keep in touch. Show some love. Send some comments. Like it. Share it. Talk to me. Whatever you want to do, I will catch y'all later. Y'all have a safe and wonderful weekend.